I like mac and cheese, you probably like mac and cheese, but have you had mac and cheese with tortelloni in it, with spinach and ricotta, which actually shaves off a little bit of the time it takes to cook normal mac and cheese? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It is super simple and it starts off by making up your white sauce. So, into a pan I have got some butter that's gonna melt down and essentially we're creating a roux, something to thicken up this white sauce. We are going to put alongside this melted butter a touch of thyme leaves, which is a little point of difference because normally I don't do this when I make my, my white sauce. To that melted butter, we're going in there with some flour and then it's just a case of whisking that flour in and creating a roux. So get in there and get whisking. Now, the thing to look for here, just to make sure that you cook out the flour, is that smell of sort of cooked pastry. It'll waft around the room and up your nostrils too. And at this point, it is good there. I can smell it. So into this mixture, I'm gonna pour in some milk, whisking as I go, just to make sure that I get no lumps in here and slowly incorporate that flour mix in. So just keep whisking, keep whisking. The last of that milk goes in and just keep on whisking. And while it is coming up to thicken, I'm just gonna hit it with some flavor from some whole grain mustard. And then just to flavor it up, a little touch of nutmeg. And nutmeg is that spice that a lot of people tend to leave out, but it's that little nugget that is just gonna help to bring this white sauce to a whole new level. Right, at this point now, it's just a case of whisking and slowly bringing this up to temperature to the point where it's gonna thicken up to a nice consistency. I'm just gonna season it with a tiny, tiny touch of black pepper. I don't want too much spice in here, just that little bit will do the job. Give it a good whisk up, and now while that comes up to thicken, I'm going to get my tortellini in. Now these are store-bought tortellini, you can get them in most supermarkets. They're going into a pot of some boiling salted water, and they're gonna take about two to three minutes just until they are nice and tender. And I suppose in a way, because you're not having to cook the pasta for 15 minutes, this does take down the cooking time that it takes to make up this mac and cheese. So you're already winning. Okay, this is coming up to a nice thickness now and my pasta has had just enough time for those tortellini to be nicely cooked through. I'm gonna turn off the heat on them and get them drained off. Right, our pasta is drained off. So I've got my white sauce just about thickened and at this point, I'm gonna hit it with some cheese. I've got two cheeses to add in here. I've got some nice cheddar and I have some salty Parmesan cheese as well. I'm holding back a little bit because I'm gonna decorate the top of these mac and cheeses with a little bit more. So Parmesan goes in. Give that all a good mixture just until that cheese melts down and look how luscious this looks now. Oh. Right, this looks good. We've got melted cheese. I'm turning off the heat and my last little hit is some bacon in here. You don't have to add this, but that salty kick will make all the difference. So. Just give it a nice rough slice. And now take up this hot white sauce. We're gonna tap it out. And I'm gonna tumble that tortellini straight into the sauce. So get it on in. Oh baby. A little bit of bacon. And then just get in there and give it all a good mix up. Right, this just looks so ridiculously good now. So I'm gonna give myself a touch of space. I have two little pie dishes which have been buttered and do make sure that you butter them because otherwise they become a little bit hard to clean later on. So grab up this mixture and just divide it between two of these little pie dishes until you have a nice full bowl. Right, these are ready now for their last little bit of cheesy glory. So Parmesan over the top here and Parmesan over the top here. And this just gives this, this lovely golden color on the top. It's a simple dish, but it is total comfort food and total indulgence. It's one that you know you're gonna wanna eat on a cold winter's day, hot from the oven. It is gonna be so, so good. Okay, so last bit of cheddar on. This now goes into the oven at 200 degrees Celsius, that's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna cook for 20 minutes just until we get a nice golden top. And essentially everything is cooked in there, so you're just looking for that finish.
There you go, out of the oven and looking absolutely gorgeous. The last little thing to do, while they're still a little bit warm, is to sprinkle them with some chopped salty bacon. Look at that, just to finish it, you can see how gorgeous these are. And I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna have to tuck in. I know they're still a little bit warm, but you know what, when they look this good, you need a spoon. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Look at that. I'm gonna blow on it, give me a minute. That is just serious comfort food. I mean, you saw what went in here. All those great flavors, the nutmeg, the whole grain mustard, the thyme, the butter, and all that cheese just wrapped around. Storeboard tortellini, so simple to make. If you don't try this, I will be very upset because it is so good. And if you want the recipe, you will get it in the box below over on my website. Hit the subscribe button for more deliciousness just like that one. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, go do it now. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're gonna try this pasta recipe. Super simple, as I mentioned. And of course, like and share this video, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. just serious comfort food. Really hot too. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>